is up everybody welcome back to another video today this will be something different um today i'll be talking about the ebola virus now there was an outbreak a couple maybe two three weeks ago and i just want to talk about um how ebola works how viruses work just in general so basically how a virus works is that it finds a host through i don't know sneezing or the virus will come into your body and the only job of a virus is to infect your cells, your host cells, and use their genetic material to multiply themselves. Now, you've probably heard that in school. That's just the basics. But actually, how does it, why does it, the virus go into specific cells? Why does it infect specific organisms? Well, that's because a virus on its capsid, which is the thing that surrounds it, has a special key or like kind of like a shape. And cells have like a lock or like a little shape. And then only some virus cells can go in and unlock the lock or on the cells to open up the cells and inject their genetic material inside of the cells to use their, um, they have like machinery to replicate their own cells and they'll use that for, to replicate themselves. And basically what happens is that after they replicate, they would burst the cell, they would come out, and there's two cycles. There's the lysogenic, I think, and then the smaller cycle, which is the lithic. And you can remember that by lysogenic is like a longer word, a longer cycle, and the lithic would be the smaller cycle because it's smaller. And the lysogenic, I believe, they stay and they, and they come a part of the genetic material and with the other genetic material when they're replicating. And they come a part of that, and then they keep on replicating, and at the end, they burst. I think the lytic just does that immediately. They just go in. They don't come a part of it. They just go in. They just use the material and burst out immediately. And Ebola actually is a very, very, very dangerous virus where it can literally kill you in a couple of days. And it's so dangerous mainly because it has locks to different things, and it uses um, RNA. There's two different genetic material for viruses. There's DNA and RNA. RNA is a single strand. You can search it up on the internet. Double uh, DNA is a double strand. And basically, RNA, it's easier to um, reproduce and it doesn't take as long because it's just a single strand of genetic material. But DNA is two strands of genetic material. So um, RNA is much quicker. That's with the coronavirus and with Ebola too. But the thing is, getting Ebola is actually fairly, fairly hard. Because you can't get it like coronavirus or flu where you can just touch something. You have to physically touch their fluids or get it or maybe maybe genetically or sometimes from like if it's a member of your family. And that is basically um, how you can get the Ebola virus. It's also it has a 90% death rate, which means if you would have a room of people that had Ebola, and if there's 10 people in it or 100 people of it, if there's 100 people in the room, 90 people would die. If there's 10 people in the room, 9 people would die. Percentages, if you can calculate it. Yeah, but that's basically Ebola for you in a nutshell. Um, that's basically how Ebola works, how a little explanation of how viruses work, and yeah. Um, peace!